Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Altiplano, which is a bag building game from the designer of Orleon, a very, very good bag building game, but this is quite different. This is all about uh, gaining goods and using the goods as action discs. You remember we had workers in Orleon, if you played that, and they went into a nice little bag and every turn you would draw a certain number out. I knocked the secret player marker over there. And yeah, you would get to do actions with those things. It's similar in that, but we get to do the actions basically with the goods. It's as if we are trading the goods for other things or selling them for money and all sorts of things like that. So we are playing as roles. You can either have these given to you randomly, which is what I've just done, or once you're experienced with the game, you can pick them. They tell you the things you start off with. So the, the markers that you start off with, uh, actually, I only start off with one alpaca, because you don't necessarily start off with four tokens. I have started off with an extra money, but only three tokens. And I have a special action that only I can do. I'm playing a two-player game against Little Glass Marty, as always. And he has this other role, which gives him four tokens, but only one money at the start of the game. And he has a different action where he can convert food to rocks. There is also kind of a, a mini expansion, it's called, included in the box, uh, of missions. I've just thrown them in because they are just kind of extra points and maybe they'll guide what you do as well as your role. So I want to be the first to complete an order and I want to have 20 or more things in my warehouse, which is down here. Marty, on the other hand, wants to have the most rocks out of everybody at the end of the game, which, given that he can make them, a lot easier. Usually the action on the board costs two food. Uh, since he can make them, he's probably going to be uh, a bit better for him. And also he wants to have five corn. So Altiplano is played in rounds. I am going to be the first player, which is why I have this. And uh, the first thing that happens, you know, the, the phases, some of the phases happen at the same time. Some of them happen in turns. The first thing that happens is drawing. At the start of the game, there is no point. Uh, you basically draw from your bag up to the point that you are on the road here. We all start at this point that says four, which means not necessarily that we're gonna draw four, but we are gonna draw until the first four slots on our board are filled up because we might have some from other turns or we might have had tokens here uh, from previous turns that we didn't use for an action. You can bring them back, but it means you're gonna draw fewer out of your bag. So at the start of the game, it doesn't matter because we've basically got everything that would be in our bag anyway. The next thing that happens is the planning phase, and this is simultaneous as well. Through our action boards, and later on we will buy extension tiles that will give us more action opportunities, we will be basically, as, as the name of the round suggests, we will be planning out what we're doing this round. So I can put these from my area here onto any of the action spaces to try and execute that action later on. I won't explain them all right now. Hopefully I will do most of them through the course of the game quickly enough. So since I started with an alpaca, I could go and sell it for a money. I could uh, get a food or I could use my special roll tile to go and get a cotton, is that? Wool, I knew that. And so why would I want to get wool? Wool is another thing that can be sold because all of this stuff is going to go into my bag at the end of... Uh, it's going to go into here, and once my bag is empty, this container gets emptied into the bag. So it's uh, if you played all on, you you just put something straight back in the bag in all on. so you might draw what you just bought, and you might get lucky and just always draw the right things. In this, it's more similar to a deck builder in that you are going to go through your entire bag before you put the new stuff back in. So, yeah, I... I can use it to get more money, or maybe orders want it, like this one would want some wool. Or I could start filling my warehouse with it. This is going to be a big way of getting points at the end of the game, or one of the ways. I think I am going to go for my roll at the start. I'm going to plan out there and put my alpaca on there. And now I've got a food and a stone. Well, with the stone, I could generate a money. The food alone, I couldn't do too much right now. Now we are going to need to move around this board here. These seven locations are randomly put out every game and so they'll always be different and you can move around with this cart. You can move basically once, one to three spaces, uh, but I could put food here so that I could move extra spaces if I need to go to multiple locations. Or I think I might just save this. Marty's planning, he has got a few more tiles to play with. Now he wants 
to get a lot of ore and get corn. And you get corn either by doing the road action and getting to the spaces where you get corn there, or by completing orders. You get a corn for every order that you complete. Okay, I think Marty is gonna concentrate on trying to earn some money in this first round. He, well, to get some, get some things that will start him being able to earn some money. Uh, he is going to end up with a silver by doing this, by putting an ore. You just put them on here and you don't have to commit to the action jet. This is just planning, remember. But he's going to aim to get silver by this combination. And also his roll tile is on that location as well in the mountains. The same symbol is on these, so he's not going to have to spend any movement. The fish he could just leave here for now. But he can only really use it up here, so I think he's just going to place it up there for now and maybe he'll do one of these actions in the future. Now we've both planned, it's time for the action phase. So one at a time, we, we can do one action and it goes you know, clockwise until everybody's passed. So since we don't start on the board in, at the start of the game, I can choose to go anywhere for free. The two places I want to end up are the village and the market. I think I'm going to start at the market. Yeah. I'm going to do some stuff at the market. So I'm going to take my guy and put him in here. And the action I'm going to take is to sell some stone and make one money. So I don't lose this for doing any actions on my action board. I'm just selling it. You know, this is you know, uh, the, the ability to make stone or it's my mining ability or whatever. Uh, so I get another money and that is my action. So I could, I could have either done an ore or a stone and gotten one money. So I've done one action now. It moves over to Marty. He is only doing actions in the mountains to start with. So he is just going to put himself over there. And his first action is going to be to spend the food to get another ore. It just goes in his container whenever you do an action and you take it from the space on the board. And these are limited based on the number of players. This is how many we've put out for a two player game. Back to me. And while I'm at the market, I know there are no more action tiles here, but there are still actions that I can do. These cost money. So I can either t spend one money to take an order and maybe I wanna look through them in case there's something I can do because I want to be the first person to complete an order. Now the downside of this is that you give up the tile but I can at least see what I'm trying to work towards. Now I can make wool quite easily, can't I? I'm gonna end up with one later in this round. I don't really make any of this stuff yet. Now there are, there's, there's 10 orders in a two player game. You shuffle the whole deck and these are the 10 that have come out this game. I am not particularly great at making any of these yet, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grab one this early. I'm going to buy an extension for one or more money. Now you don't have to have put money on these action spaces to do these on your action board. I'm gonna buy an extension tile. For that, we come up here to the display. Now, certain ones have been taken out for a two player game and we shuffle them based on their letter. So the A's are at the top, then the B's, C's and D's. And uh, I am going to buy an extension. I want this one. I wanna be able to make wood because once I can, I can, I can make wood anyway. It costs two food a time and then I can make one wood. But with this, it would only cost me one food and I can start making wood which can be used to get boats, which can get you tiles that you haven't got. So you place this next to you know, your forest area so you know that you need to be there to do this action. I need to spend the money that is on the tile, so that's one, plus the money that is next to it on the position. So because it was there, it costs an extra money. Marty's still in the mountains. He's gonna do his second action and spend these to get a silver. I can only buy one extension per round, so I'm going to have to leave it there, unfortunately. Uh, I still don't want to get an order, so I am going to move on. Now, this is an optional action before or after your action, you can move. And as I said, we start with this cart, which we can use to move one to three spaces in either direction. So you can basically go to any tile with this cart. I want to do actions in the village, so I am going to move over there. So one, two, three. And that's not your turn, that's just an optional extra. And my turn is going to be to show uh, show the alpaca to the village and they give me a wool because they're so impressed. Marty's all done for actions. I'm potentially not, I could buy another cart if I want to because the way this would work, if I wanted to move somewhere else, I could have put a food up here in the planning phase and then 
I could choose to spend the food to move one space in either direction to a new location. But if I had a cart, which I can buy for one money, then when I spend the food, it acts just like this cart and I can move one to three spaces. I think for now I'm gonna hang on to my money. I can always do it next round because I am there now. So we're done with actions and we move on to preparation. So Marty now gets the start player marker. And if we used a car, which I did, it moves back to the left. If nobody took an extension tile, we would get rid of the one at the bottom. Here's Marty hiding out. And uh, one did get bought though, so we don't have to do that. We just slide them down, try and make them match up as best we can, and then draw a new one out. So this would let you spend two money and get a cacao. And now we do it again. So it's the drawing phase. So. There's nothing in either of our bags, so we would empty our cart into the bag now, which we're all going to have to do because we have got more than four. Actually, I've only got three in my crate, so I can just pour these straight back on here. Okay, and this is what Marty drew out. So based on this, let's work out his planning. Now he got the silver so he could get some money and start getting some extensions because silver will get you three money with one action. Then he's got this, or he could grab another one and try and really go for it. I think he's going to put a food up here where his fish is so he can generate another food. So he's gonna be going to the market and the fishery. Uh, he could sell this as well. And maybe he puts this up here for some extra movement later. That seems good for now. He's not really generating many tiles though. So maybe he wants to put this and his other food over there. Problem with this is he can't go to three locations because he's only got one movement. He would need another movement on there. Yeah, I think he's gonna put his food up there so he's got some flexible movement in the future. But for this turn, he is just gonna sell this and produce some more. Oh, he doesn't need to spend the ore, does he? Yeah, he's got his special action. Let's not forget that. He can, uh, oh, and it costs, oh, that would have generated more silver. This generates him ore though. And he wants the most ore, so he's gonna do that. And then he'll use that to just generate some more money. For my planning, I could now start generating some cloth because I have wool and food. I did wanna start generating some more food with the alpaca though. I think we'll save that for now. We're in the village. So I'm gonna to have to move twice, whatever I do actually. Yeah, we've got no food. We've only got this one food and we can't move a lot. So let's just do our actions here. I'm just gonna do these things. And then I can't do anything with one stone other than sell it for a money. So I'm just gonna leave it there for the future. So actions, Marty's already at the mountains, so he might as well do this action and put this food away and get another ore. I'm at home, so I am gonna do my alpaca action and get another wool. Marty's now gonna move over to the market with his cart, so he ends up there and he's used his cart. And now he is going to use his silver for three coins. I'm gonna spend my cart and move over to the farm, which is down here. And I'm going to give up my wool and food for a cloth, which I haven't mentioned this yet as well. So all of this stuff, we're, we haven't used the warehouse yet, but all of this stuff that we're getting, unless it's on mission cards at the end, uh, order cards, all of the stuff we're getting is worth these points. So you see all this stuff we start with, all food, money, uh, alpacas, they're all worth nothing at the end. That can change if you get houses, but generally worth nothing. The stuff that we're getting though, Marty's silver, my cloth, three points each. So we are generating points with this stuff as we are doing these actions. Marty's gonna sell his ore for one. Back to me and I think I'm done already. Yep, that's me done. Marty's gonna grab an order while he's at the market. He's gonna grab this one here for two ore and a cloth. Now he can't generate a cloth, but hopefully he'll be able to resolve that. He spends all money to do that. Now I'm past, so it doesn't matter. Marty again, he is going to buy an extension. Now he can't buy this extension because it's the action that his role does. You're not allowed to do that. He doesn't have any other extensions though. He's gonna pay big, he's gonna pay four money and he is going to buy this one here, which will let him turn food into fish, 
which means that then he'll have another fish and he can start getting stone, which then he can use to start getting houses. You know, it'll all chain together nicely, hopefully. That's the end of the round. So a new extension comes out that you can put money on the cart spaces instead of food to be able to activate more movement. I'm the first player, carts are reset, and we do the bags. Okay, this is what I've ended up with. So for planning, I think I wanna start getting some food. I'm gonna put my alpaca on here. So I'm already there, so I'm gonna start generating some food. And then what are we gonna do with this? I'm going to put this on the market space. I could sell it for two money though. I don't want this stuff sitting here. I think I'm gonna put this up here for later because I can get some more cloth if we put some food up there in the future. And then let's have this food on here and I'm gonna to go to the forest next round, I think. This is what Marty drew. And so he's got a lot of ore, but he has, you know, he's done it to himself. That's what he's ended up with, but he has got this stuff here. So I think he's already at the market. He's gonna put these two here, is he? Maybe, yeah, he'll put one there. He'll put his silver up there because I think he wants to generate some more money. I think he'll put one of his ores up here ready for when he gets some food and he can get some silver. And then he's going to put one up here in the village. Now this is going to go off to his warehouse eventually. I don't think he's going to go there this round, but it's going to go there in the end. So for actions, I'm already in the farm, so I am going to use my alpaca to get me some food. Marty's already in the market, so what will he do? Oh yeah, he's going to use this to get three money. I'm done in the farm, I'm gonna move over to the market myself. And I've kind of changed my mind on what I was gonna do. I was going to get this order and just fill it so this is done. But the stone, I should, I should probably, I can get wood and I've got a stone, I should probably try and be moving up this track. So to get my stone back, I can't always recall it, you know, but it's one fewer thing you're drawing. I'm gonna get money for that. Marty could do the same with his ore here, but he is going to send it off to his order. And that is this action here. So any number of tiles that are on here, he can send to orders. That is gone now for the whole game. And it's not worth any points now. It's it, The order is gonna be worth points if he fulfills it, but that is completely gone out of the game. Back to me, I am going to grab that order, even though I don't, maybe I'll put the cloth on it in a minute, but that's my action. Marty, let's see, does he want to get another extension? Well, he does, but he can't afford it yet. Since he generates a lot of money, being able to buy cacao would be really useful because cacao can be used to get food or cloth or glass. Very, very useful. So since he's done here, he's going to move with his cart off to the village. Where's the village? There it is. He's going to move over to there, and he is going to use an action to put a tile in his village. So basically thins out his, his bag so he's drawing fewer things. So the warehouse works like this. The first good goes down here and the bottommost row on the left hand side. If he does this action again with all, he has to fill this row. If the row's filled, it's worth two points at the end of the game, as well as the tiles still being worth their value. So this is two points each anyway, plus an extra two. If he does a different good though, he works up the rows. You don't have to complete a row before you start a new one. So then, if you can get all the way up to these, these are going to need four to complete, but you can see each one can be worth tons and tons of points. My turn, I want to be first on this order, so I'm going to put my cloth up there. Marty is going to buy a cart. He's there anyway, he's got some money, he's going to buy a new cart. It's still going to need food, remember, but he's got a food on there waiting, and he can use it to, instead of just moving one, he can get to move one to three. So that's it for actions. Nobody took an extension this time, so that goes away and we slide them all down. The new one is uh, two fish to get a cacao. Marty's gonna be the start player, and the cart's reset, and I'll do the bags for the new round. Okay, this is what Marty's got. Uh, he's got a lot of his tiles still out on here. We need to sort that out. So he bought, he's gonna put the silver on there so he can keep making money off of it, and he did buy this to get another fish, so let's start doing that. He'll go to these spots, because he's got an extra movement as well, and it'll get him his food back. He's gonna do that. This is what I've got. Oh, I definitely want to go over here. There's not anything else I can do this round. I'm already on the market, so I could do, I could do something 
getting some money for wool and the stone for now. Unfortunately, it would mean that I couldn't go up here and try and generate some more food, which is what I like to do. I think I'll put that on there for the future though. And this last food, I don't know. I think I'll put it over here and then we can get another wood maybe later. I'll go here last, maybe. Oh, actually, if I just put it here, I can use the one movement to go over and do this and then the three movement to go to the forest. That's better. Marty first, he's in the village and he doesn't want to go to do anything there. So he is going to use his cart and go and do some fishing. He uses his food as some bait and grabs some fish. Me, I'm in the market, so I'm going to do my markety things. I'm going to sell that for a money. Marty is done here and he is going to spend his food and his cart to be able to move three more spaces. Although, yeah, he technically didn't need the cart because it's only one space, but it's still good to have. Uh, he falls over and he is going to sell his silver for three. I'm still here. I'm going to use my stones to get another one. So I've got three now. Now Marty's pretty much done unless he's got one, two, three, four, five money. So he could probably buy whatever he wanted. I think he's going to use one, two, three, four, and he's going to buy this extension so he can start getting some cacao. This is going next to his market. He has to be at the market to use this one. I don't want any extension tiles, so I'm going to use my cart to move. No, I'm not using my cart, am I? I'm going to use my food to move one space to go to the farm. And I'm going to use my alpaca to get me another food. Whoop. Marty's all done. Because this, I, I, I said a few times, you don't put money on this board. You do have to put them on the extensions, though. So he can't suddenly decide. He hasn't got too many anyway, but he couldn't suddenly decide, oh, I'm going to do that. So Marty's done. I'm still in the farm. Oh, because I'm doing something else, aren't I? I'm using my cart to go over to the forest. And while there, I am going to tempt a tree with some food and get me some wood. Well, I probably paid a woodcutter, didn't I? I probably fed a woodcutter. So that's it. We move all of these down. And this one comes out. Two food for a cacao. I'm going to be the start player. And let's sort out the bags. Okay, here's what I've drawn. I've got a lot of food. And I am in the forest. So we could use this opportunity. Yeah, I am going to go wood crazy. And I could send this over to the market, get another money. Marty, he is going to grab another silver, I think. While he's in the mountains, he might as well get another ore. Where is he now? He's in the market. So that's okay. He can go to the market already and sell that. Oh, maybe he wants to go fishing, though. And get some more stone. Well, see, he hasn't got any stone, because then he could start moving up the road. He's got an excuse, he didn't have any stone. Yeah, he can only go to... Unless he doesn't get more ore, and then he uses his food there so he can use his cart, then he can go to all three locations. So me first, I'm in the forest, so let's get another wood. Marty is already in the market, so he's going to get himself three cash. I'm going to do the same, but this time it costs me two, because it's the standard action. Marty is going to grab an extension. He's going to spend all of his money, so he's still not using this, unfortunately. He's going to spend all four money, and he is going to grab this extension that's going to let him spend money on the movement spaces instead of food, so it keeps his food for other stuff. And this doesn't have a location, so you know he's not, uh, he's not as restricted to where he can use it. My turn. I need to move on, and what am I doing? Am I just going to the market and selling this? It looks like it. So one, two, three, go to the market, Selling my wool for one. Marty is going to go to... He's going to go fishing first because he's not going to want to do that again, I don't think, right away. He's going to spend his fish and get a stone. I'm done unless I want an extension. Let's see, I've got four money. I could start being able to get ore. It just gives me more actions. Maybe I can get silver and stuff. Yeah, I think that's worth spending too. I'm going to spend my two money and get this extension. Put it next to my mountain area. Marty's still going. He's going to use his other cart, which costs the food. And he is going to turn these in for another silver. I think that makes us both done. So we need to reveal the new extension tiles. Oh, and by the way, this is the timer for the game. The, the end of the game is triggered when we can't refill the extensions board from this stack here. Or if one of these locations is completely empty of stuff. So Marty's gonna be the first player again, and we need to draw from the bags. Okay, Marty, he's on the fishing space. Is there anything he could do with one fish? No. 
but he might as well put it up here ready for later. He is most likely going to go to the market. He's got no food, so he's not going to be able to get to go to many locations, really. It's a shame he can't do anything here. I don't think he's going to get to do anything with this stone either, because there's only he can only put two things on the market. He would like to get money for all three of these things, or maybe put this on the order as well, but there's only so much you can do at once. I think he'll put it on here and get ready to get another silver in the future. This is what I've got for my planning. I am going to start moving up the road, I think. And then, let's see, I'm on the market. So I could use my alpaca there. I could put the food up here. I'm probably not going to get to do that this round, but I would be able to then free up this wool in a future round. So it's Marty first. All he's doing is selling, isn't it? Yeah, he's going to go over to the market. Uh, one. And he is going to sell this for three. But he has bought extensions that kind of rely on him having money. Over to me, I am going to get one. Marty's going to get another three. And I, I think he'll hang on to it this time so he can start activating these things. I'm going to move with my cart over to the road. And I need to spend my wood and my stone to build the road which moves me further down and now I draw up to the five space every turn. To be honest, it's very tempting for Marty to get this tile, but I think he's gonna wait until it's a bit cheaper. This is basically a wild one of these spaces. You can put any tile on here and then treat it as if you'd put it in any of the areas to do an action. He's gonna wait until it gets a bit cheaper though because he's spending all of his money every time. So I think that's us done again. So we have to get rid of this extension, Fish for All. And then let's move it all down. I'm going to be the start player and I'll do the drawing. Okay, here's what I've got. I think since I've drawn two wood together, I'm going to go over and get a boat. I'm on the road, so I'm definitely not going to get to do anything there. So I probably want to put a food down so I can move somewhere else. I think I'm going to start getting stuff off to the warehouse. Maybe not this turn, but yeah, that's going to be the aim, I think. And once we get back to the forest, I'm going to get some more wood, I think. No, let's... Put it on here because we'd like more stone so we can do the road thing more often, I think. And so we can give one up for the order. This is everything. This is what Marty didn't draw last time. And so he could get another stone that way. He's got a fish. He's got two fish ready. He's got two food, which he could use to get a stone, but he, had, he left that ore on there. He's going he's gonna to get a silver and then another ore, I think. And then this stone... Yeah, he's got no wood, has he? This stone's going to go on here, maybe. I think he's going to get a house. So it's me first. I'm in the road, so there is nothing for me to do there. I am going to move over to the farm and spend my food, because it's only one space away. And I am going to exchange my wool and food for a cloth. Marty's going to go over and get some more stone, I think. So he's going to go over here, he turns his fish in, oh no, that's in the fishing space, where he gets the stone from. Uh, fish for stone, oh he didn't put a food on there to go to the mountain and do all of this stuff. Yeah, since he's got no other way of getting food, I'm going to correct that, uh, that error in judgement for him. Finally for me, I'm going fishing, but I'm going to buy a boat. Now the boats are basically, there's a big stack of them, but they just relate to every type of disc, every, every type of goods disc in the game, and when you take a boat you're going to get two points at the end of the game, but you get that good, so you get access to something that normally you uh, you maybe couldn't make. I want to get, now I, I can make it, but I can, I can make another boat in the future. I want stone as quickly as possible because I need to do this. So I take the boat and put it face up and I get a stone. Come over to Marty, who can move, because he intelligently decided to put a food on there, and he will get another silver. And that's the round again. Marty's going to be the start player. We get rid of this extension and bring the rest down. What have we got? An alpaca for a wool. Oh, that's my ability. I can't take that. Wait a minute. I just realised Marty could have just put a coin on here if I'd remembered. So let's say he did that and he got another all in his previous turn. So this is what he's got this turn anyway. Uh, so where is he? He is in the mountains. He could get yet another silver. You know, it's just generating points and points and points. He's not doing... Well, he, he's, he's got a lot of ore. He isn't getting the corn. But it seems like you just might as well. He could get a house as well. Yeah, he's going to do all of this stuff. 
and put the silver on the market, he could let's see he's already he's already in the mountains, so he can do that. He can use this cart to get to there. He can put a money down, so he can use this cart to get to the market, and he could put two money on the market, so he can get a cacao. And the cacao is worth a point, even if he doesn't use it, which he probably will, because it's really cool. This is what I've got since I'm on the fishing space and I drew two wood. I am absolutely going to get another boat. And then I think, let's go to the market and sell a bit of stuff. We can't get there this turn, but maybe we should just put the food there for... to get a stone next round. So Marty, he's already at the mountains, so he wants to do this first. He gets yet another silver. I am getting a boat, aren't I? I haven't thought about what I want. Oh, I could just go for, you know, get a silver. Or I could get uh, I could get an ore so I can start generating silver. I think I'll do that, actually. I've seen Marty doing quite well from that, so I am going to do it too. Marty's done at the mountains, so he is going to move over to the village. Now, he could start filling his warehouse up again, but he doesn't really care about doing that particularly. He is going to grab a house. Now, houses are worth four points in themselves, but they also make everything that you have got worth an extra point of a certain kind. And he has been generating, well, silver and, um, silver and stone like crazy. I think he is going to, since he's giving up some of the stone and it isn't going to count, he's going to grab the silver one. Goes on display so I can see what he's done. So I want to try and get as much silver as I can. Right, now I can go to the mountains or the market. I'm going to go to the market. Let's use my cart and go there. And I am going to first grab an extension. I'm going to spend all of my money and I'm going to grab that user thing as an extra action. Or I could, I could get this that would get me more stone. Let's see, that's three as well. Oh. Yeah, I like, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna grab this one. Marty's on the move again, and he is going to go to the market. So one, two, three, and he spends his silver for three money. I will do the same with my cloth for two. Marty has his special action. He spends this two and gets a cacao, which is very useful if he starts going to the forest, he can start getting you know, cloth that he needs. Oh, that's actually good. I'll pretend that I did that on purpose. He was gonna get a boat and buy a cloth, but now he can use cacao for it. It was all planned, everybody. And I will sell my wool for another one. I think Marty's done for now. I am done for now. So that's the end of the round. I'll be the new start player. And we bring all of this down. What's the new one? Food for a stone or an ore. Okay, here's what I've got for the new round. So I am in the market, so I definitely want to give this up so I can do my order. I want to go over and build the road more as well. Or I could just generate a money here and then go there later. Yeah, let's do that. Marty, I don't think it's a particularly great draw. He is in the market though, so he can sell his silver again. He will, he might as well get some more stone and get another fish while he's there. But while he's at the market, he could get another cacao and he doesn't need to go to multiple locations, so he doesn't need to spend any money. Okay then, actions. I am going to place this on my order. That order is now complete, and I get myself a corn from over here. Now this isn't, this isn't ideal really, because if you, if you've got a, if you haven't done any rows yet, your corn has to go there. And if you've started a row with corn, you have to fill it with corn like any other row. But say I had already put, uh, I'll borrow your food, Marty. No, I can't put food in there, it's a terrible example. I did that when we were playing for real. Let's say I've done really well and got some glass. Say I'd already put something in the warehouse and then I got a corn, I could choose to start a new corn row or I could fill in a gap of an existing row with it. Since I had nothing in my warehouse at all, I have to put it there. And you have to decide when you get the corn. Marty's at the market as well, he will get a cacao. Oh, I should, I should have planned for doing something here. I will, yeah, I would have put some money on there. I'm gonna use it to get a stone, I think, it's more useful than an alpaca right now. Marty, he will do his usual silver thing and get three money. I will use my alpaca to do a little dance and earn me a money. Marty is gonna move on to do some fishing and he will get one fish. I'm going to, 
Oh. I'm not sure why I put the food there now. I'll save it for a future round anyway. I'm going to move over to the road and I am going to go down again. So I don't get to draw any more now, but I do get another corn. And then next time I'll be able to move up the road. Marty is going to turn in his fish for a stone. I think that's it. I could move to the village and dump this one wool off, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to end it there. So Marty next. We have to get rid of an extension because I may have forgotten for anyone to buy one. And what comes out? Spend the money for fish or wood. Now I have done my objective as well, so I can stop thinking about that. Not that I'm doing particularly well on the other objectives. Okay, it's apparent from Marty's bag that there's too much in it, and he's going to have to start thinning it out a bit, I think. Uh, let's see. He's going to put the fish up there. Where is he right now? He's, he's on the fishery space, but he can't do anything there. He wants to get rid of three things. He needs to start getting wood. How can he start getting wood? That thing that lets him buy, spend money for it. Yeah, he's going to end up at the market. So let's put his silver there. Let's put his ore on this order. This could be saved. He could build a house with it. Yeah, that's... He's going to put one money on to move. I think that's it for now. Here's what I've got. And I am at the road, which I can do again. Brilliant. And then what's the other location I'm going to go to? I can go to a couple because I can use this to move one space. And then we could go to the mountains. Yeah, let's give up another wall. Because we want to start getting, we want to start getting goods in here. It's a shame I didn't leave a space so I could put the ore on the mountains, but we can end the turn there and maybe I'll draw some food next turn. If we're going to the village, I could use my alpaca to get a wool. Oh, I can't do any more locations. Is that just going to sit around there though? No, I don't want to give it up, but maybe we'll just make some money out of it for now. Okay, Marty is going to move to the village and he is going to just give up these start new rows with each of them. I'm already on the road and I can move on it again. So I move down, now I can have six at a time. Marty needs to start doing this. I am trying for him. Uh, that is me. Marty is now going to move with his other cart to the market and sell his silver for three. Me, I'm gonna move over to my house, which is only one step away so I can just spend the food. And I am going to put these in the warehouse. Marty's going to give this up onto the order. I'm going to use my thing now and let's go over to the mountains. And I will get a stone. There's not much on this space now. For Marty, he is going to spend three. And he's going to get this one. This lets him every round after he's done the drawing, he can put one back into his container and then draw one from either his container so he'll know what it is or something else random from his bag so he'll get a, a bit more uh, flexibility. Back to me, I can't do anything else. Oh, yeah, this doesn't matter. While, while I, let's just change the order of the turns a bit. While I was still in the village, I should have done this action and got a new wool. So that's everybody's actions. I am gonna be the new start player. Somebody did buy an extension, so Everything just slides down and three money for a silver or a glass. Okay, I've got my six tiles now. I can go up the road again, which is gonna get me a corn. I have to think, can I move all of these spaces though? I'm in the mountains at the moment, so what can I do here? I haven't got that all because it's over there. I'm gonna have to use this to move. Let's see, next to the road this game is the farm or the village. So I want to do something at one of those. Oh, I think I'm going to go to the village and give up some more tiles. I want 20 in that um, container at the end. And I could fill up some nice rows doing this. And that's all I'm going to do this turn. And Marty's got these, so he's definitely going to go over here and start getting some cloth for his order. Where is he right now? He's on the market, so he'll probably use his silver. He'll do this so he can get an extra movement if he wants it. He's going to end up here and hopefully he can draw another food next round. He could use his ability on the silver, maybe, to try and draw a food instead from his bag. There's another food in his bag. He's going to try it. He's going to put that back. And he did draw out the food. 
So maybe he wants to put this on hold for a bit. It's going to clog up his area, but at least he'll get a wood floating around that maybe he, that he can draw out the container then. He can get it next round because it'll be in his container and his ability will let him get it. Brilliant. He's going to do that. So it's going to be a very small turn, isn't it? He might as well go over to the market still and get another cacao. It's me first and I'm at the mountains. I'm not doing anything there, am I? I am going to the road. Let's teleport there and I get a new corn, which now completes this row. So I've definitely got two points at the end. These corn are worth nothing there. Marty is on the market. He is definitely gonna spend these and get the cacao. It's a point if nothing else. I'm spending my food to move one space and it's gonna to be to the village where I am going to put all of this into my warehouse. So that completes that row and we can start new rows. I think cloth may actually be easy. No, wood's actually quite easy for me to go. I can just put food on here and start generating more. Marty's gonna use his cart and go over to the forest where he is going to get a wood for his food. I think that's it, a shorter turn. So Marty is going there. We have new extension coming out. We're into the seas, are we already in the seas? Fish for a wool or a cacao. Now Marty hasn't drawn his stone yet, so I don't think there's any point using that ability to go and get, uh, what's it called? To get the wood out so he can do the road, because he can't do it yet. So I think the two places he should go are here and here, because he can get the cloth here and then end up over there. And maybe he start, he keeps giving up or he will keep getting some cacao though. That's the last of his money, but he's going to generate some more here. Maybe he wants to generate more money. Yep, he's going to do that. This is all the great stuff I've got. I can go up the road again. I'm now kind of annoyed that I put that on there because I'd want it here to start making some silver. I think since we're already here, I am going to put that on there so I can do my ability and get a wool. And then I'm going to, to move to the road and do that. So I could do that with that. And then maybe we could go over here and get an ore in the mountains. So Marty's first and he's in the trees. So he's going to use a cacao and get a cloth. Or oh, he could get another food as well because he's really low on food. He's going to do that. Uh, but first he just gets the cloth. Which you know he could bring out the cloth so then the order's completely done because this is all worth nothing at the moment rather than the 16 points he wants it to be worth. I'm already in the village so I'm going to give up this to get a wool. Marty's going to do his next cacao for a food. I'm going to use this to travel along one space to the road and give up these to move again. Seven every turn now. Marty's going to move around to the market. He's going to get himself a cacao. I'm going to move over to the market as well. And I am going to get a new stone, I think. Make it easier for me to buy houses or just keep moving up this road. Marty's selling his silver for three. One, two, three. I am going to sell the ore for one. Marty does the same. I'm going to sell the stones for one. And I think that's it. I'm going to be the new start player. We get rid of an extension. It's coming to the end now. Not many rounds left. Okay, here's what I've got. I am on the market. So I might as well buy a new thing. I think I'm going to go on the road again. And let's put a food up here so... We can go and get a silver, I think. And yeah, we can get another ore as well. And then this... We could, we could sell that for uh, money and the wool. Marty has finally pulled out a stone. I think he is going to make his fish go back into the container and that means he can choose to get his wood tile because of you know the power he's got. So he's definitely gonna go up the road. So at least that's gonna bring him up to five per round. And then he's already at the market. Maybe he might as well just do this and get another cacao and then start, you know, filtering it out now because the game's coming to an end and neither has have got anything in the warehouse really. Uh, yeah, so I am in the market, so I am going to grab myself a new alpaca, I think. 
which aren't worth many points, but maybe I can use them to get some useful stuff for me. Marty is buying a cacao. And they're not nearly all gone, actually. I'm selling this for one. Marty is doing the same with silver, but for three. And I'll do my wool for another one. Marty, he's got some money now. Does he want to buy an extension? He could buy this extension, turning food into rocks or ore. No, I think he'll leave that. He will just sell his rocks for one. Oh, I've worked this out all wrong. I can't get to the road and the mountains. So my food can wait there. I'm going to go over to the mountains and I'm going to get myself a silver and, well, I have to do it one, one at a time, <laughs> a silver. Marty is finally going over to the road and he is going to give up his stones and wood and move over to the five space at this stage in the game. I am doing this to gain an ore. I don't think I can catch up on Marty now, but I don't know that he's got that card. Marty's done already. I can only move one space and I didn't put anything on fishing or the forest, so I'm done. So Marty's gonna be the start player. Nobody bought an extension again. Okay, this is what Marty's got. He's on the road, he can't do that again unless he wants to grab it out, but he's gonna grab something different out. He's gonna put back the fish into the container Oh, actually, it's all, his container's empty. He had to empty it out to draw from the bag. He, want, he wants the chance of drawing the cloth that he got there. He gets silver. So it's still okay. He is gonna have to go over to the trees then, and then he can put a cloth in his container so he can do it next turn. So he's already on the road. He can't do anything there. He's definitely gonna go over to here, isn't he? And he might as well buy yet another cacao. Maybe he can get the house for it. Yeah, if he leaves that up there, he'll try and get the cacao house. He could use this up here. And then in the future, yeah, he'll try and get some more ore and stuff in the future. That's for me, a lot of stuff again. So I'm in the mountains where I could get another ore or I could get another silver. Then we're definitely gonna go over here Yeah, I've just not really got the movement to do all this stuff. I haven't been buying crates. We might as well buy another stone or something. I think we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna put the food over here and let us move a bit more. I'm just gonna save the wood there. Yeah, I wanna buy a new a new uh, movement thing this round. Maybe I'll just put the ore on there so we can sell it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Marty, he's on the road and doesn't need to be. He is moving to the forest and he is getting, oh no, he's not. He is using a cacao to get a cloth. So three points. I'm on the mountains and I'm not doing anything in there because I am going to use my cart to go over to the village and I'm going to buy a cart. I can only do that once per round but now at least I can move around a bit easier. And he's going to move to the market now and he's going to get a new cacao it's almost all gone i'm going to use these to get a house i haven't particularly got a ton of anything so i think i'm going to do wool it's some points at least okay marty's going to get three money it's time for him to start leveraging this i don't know why i haven't been making him buy more and more extensions uh, for me i am using my alpaca to get a wool Marty sells the ore for another money. I am moving, let's use this for one movement to go over to the road and do that action. And that gets me a corn, which I want to try and fill up the higher row, of course. I'm not gonna get 20 things in this, it doesn't feel like. Um, Marty is gonna buy Let's see, he's gonna spend, he's gonna spend three money, oh, actually no, he's just gonna spend one money and then he's gonna be able to buy a load more wood as well. I yeah, should have done this ages ago. Um, back to me, I can now use my cart and the food to go over to the market and I will buy myself stones, I think. 
Marty's going to wait there because he needs to do his order next round when he can grab the cloth out of the bag. I am in the market still, so I'm going to use my silver. I've got a silver now for three. Marty's finished, so we can just keep going. Uh, or is another money. And do I want an extension? I think... Yeah, I think being able to buy these is going to be useful. We are accelerating <laughs> the end of the game. Because, yeah, the, the game's taken a bit longer because... <laughs> forgotten to buy extensions, which is really silly. So that's the same as that one, but it's two spaces and it's just for the village. So more to more, you know, sending stuff to the warehouse as the game gets to the end. This lets you store up to two corn on it when you earn corn and you decide where they go on the warehouse from that. Okay, here's what Marty's got. He is gonna get rid of the wood, I think so he can draw out his cloth to fulfill his order. So the cloth's definitely going up here. He's just gonna spend money <laughs> to get more tiles. He's gonna end up going up there and giving up some stuff as well. I think this, this can get him some more money and then he's gonna give up one of the silver. I think maybe, maybe he'll give up the cacao. Or he could use the cacao to Go over here and get more stuff. So he's already at the market. He could just go over here instead. Yeah, he's gonna do that. And this silver. This silver can go up here, ready to be put in the in the houses when we're done. As for me, I am in the market. So I wanna you know, I've not got as much money, but I wanna try and spend what I've got. I can go to the road again. I might need to use that. And I could just end up here to start giving stuff up again. Get another wool. Give up a wool. Yeah, just give up all of this stuff. <laughs> just try and fill the warehouse with 20 things. Okay, so Marty first. He is in here, so he will get a cacao. The last cacao. I am there too. All I'm doing is I'm going to buy a glass, I think. Or should I buy a silver to stop Marty getting it all? Because it's worth more to him, yeah. I'll get a silver so Marty can't get all of it. Marty is going to buy a wood. She should have done ages ago. I am going to buy a stone because alpacas aren't worth any points and it's too late, I think, to be able to leverage the alpacas. Marty is going to put this on his order and finally complete his order. I am going to move over to the road, give up these two, and now I can draw eight per round. Marty gives up silver for three money again. Oh, I'm forgetting he needs to put money on. He could put money on more of these spaces as well. I am going to go over to the village. And I am going to... I'm going to keep that there. Maybe I can get a house. I'm going to put these in here though. Let's put the... Let's put the wool higher up so maybe I can complete it and get an eight point row. Marty's going over to the trees and he is going to get himself a water. Well, a glass actually, it's not water. It's not really, really valuable water. I am in the village. I could buy a cart. I've got no money, so no. Oh no, I haven't got any money to do these next turn. Well, maybe that was silly. Uh, so I'm done then. So it's just Marty, he is going to get uh, another glass. Then he's going to swing over to the village. And does he want to hang on to this and maybe get another house? Yeah, he's going to hang on to that and just put his silver away. And then he is going to buy another cart. So that's the end. I am going to be the first player. Did nobody buy any extensions? That's, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I forgot to buy extensions again. What is happening to me? So this is going to start triggering the end of the game. This one is, at the end of the game, pull 10 things from your bag and fill your warehouse with them. You can't make new rows, but you can fill up existing ones. So here's what Marty's got. I think he's going to stick with that. So I think I am going to try and build... I'm going to build a house. Maybe we should just be trying to fill up rows, though. I think I want to try and get some money from there. Let's see, we can get another silver from here. I need a food to move around. I could put this up here because we want to get rid of the wool, don't we? And then, I don't know, that could make me money. 
this. I don't really want it to hang around. We'll put it on there so we're ready to do a road. Marty is just going to get some more valuable tiles, I think, and make some more money. Yeah, he's going to try and make some money. Do that so he doesn't have to pay as much. He's only going to a couple of locations, isn't he? Or if he puts that there, he can get a house, which is better. Yeah. I'm in the village. I'm going to get a house. And I know Marty's got an insane amount of ore. I know I haven't got much, but I'm going to buy the ore one. That is my instinct. Marty's already there. He's going to buy a house. And quite upset, he will look through what's left. See, he's only got two fish, I think. He hasn't got much of that or much of that. He's got a lot of stones, I think. He's got no alpacas, not much wood. He's got a lot of cacao. Yeah, that's the one to have. He's got loads of cacao. I'm going to send this to my warehouse. Marty is going to swing over to the forest and he will get another cloth. I'm going to go to the mountains and get myself a silver. Marty's going to use the other one, just get another cloth again, I think. I'm going to go over to the market and get three money. And Marty is going to go over to the market and get two money. I'm going to get one more. Marty is going to buy an extension. Yeah, he's going to spend five money and he is going to buy the get 10 things out. I couldn't have done that. I've still only got four. And do I want let's see an extra action or two spaces to send stuff away next round? I think I'm just going to do that for money. Yep. That is it. Marty's there. We bought stuff so we don't get rid of stuff, but this is going to be the last round now. We can't refill it, so this triggers the last thing. We both get one more turn. Okay, here's what Marty's got. I think he is going to put back the fish, and his container's just been emptied to refill his bag. He's going to try and draw something that he hasn't got a row of, because remember, this, this special thing is great, the draw 10 things at the end, but he can't start new rows with it. So he is just going to grab a random one, and it is stones, which unfortunately he does already have in his thing. So what's he going to do? He wants to start new rows, so he's definitely going to send that away. That away. And wood, food can't go in there. <laughs> I don't know if I actually mentioned that yet. Um, so he hasn't got wood to go up the road. He could just make some money. Or he could send he could send that one to the warehouse just to you know try and boost his chances. And he could you know, he could pay just to use these things so he can go to so he's already in the market. He doesn't need to pay to move there. He could just pay so he gets a wood. This is everything I've got. So I have to think about am I going to complete any rows with this stuff? And no. Because yeah, just the way I've arranged stuff in here. I definitely want to send a wood away, actually. I can do the wood row. But, yeah, there's only one wool left. I can't do anything with it. I might as well, if I'm going here, I might as well get the what's it and get a house. Actually, I've just taken a look through the orders and I'm going to do this. And then what shall I do with this stuff? Oh, I could go and get a road. Can I? I think I can go to all of those places. Let's see. Right, what's going on? Marty's turn. So he is in the market. He's going to sell that for three. I'm in the market. I'm paying my last money to get an order. Marty is going to grab a fish. Yeah, because he wants to do the fish row, doesn't he? I'm going to complete that order. So I get a corn. I could finish another row. I can finish this row. Yeah, because I'm going to get one for moving up the road. Oh, that's quite nice. Marty is, I think, done here. So he is moving. He might as well have put his food there so he can move to another place. He's going to move here. And this stuff, I think the plan was just to put it in his warehouse. Let's hope to draw a cacao because he's got loads of it. And I don't think he can fill one with a stone goes there. So yeah, there's more chance of cacao. I don't think he's got four cacao. Me, I am going over to the road, moving down and getting a corn. 
So I have filled that row up now. Marty is gonna move over to the mountains and get himself another ore. And I am moving over to the village. I'm gonna get a house. Let's see, I've got, I've got a few of those. I think I'll just have stone house. Marty's done and I am going to put the wood in there. I think I've done a bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Haven't done this though. Whereas Marty, yeah, Marty hasn't got a single corn. So we, we both kind of missed one of our missions. So these are the 10 that Marty draws out of his bag for the end. He can't start new rows, remember, but he can make his cacao row, which is something. And unfortunately not a wood one. Yeah, he hasn't got, he's got silver already. He can put it there. It doesn't really help him or hurt him. And I think that's, oh, the cloth can go there. Yeah, not, not as lucky as he could have been, but quite good still, I think. Okay, it's time for the final scores then. You get everything out of your bag and container and everything and just lay it all out. So we work out the points for each thing. So for all of the one value goods, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, it was all on this, all game, what everything is worth. So I've got seven points there. Or actually, a couple more, eight, nine for me. Because your warehouse still counts. Goods don't, the things on goods don't count whether you completed the goods or not. Marty has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on that. I, on the goods that are worth two, the wool and the ore, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Marty has just got two, four, six on that. Oh no, this isn't one where I've played terribly for him, is it? Uh, the cloth and silver, I've got three, six, nine. I think this is where he's got a lot more than me. Uh, he gets 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Glass, I've got none. He's got 8 points. Boats, Marty didn't end up getting a boat. I've got 2 boats, so that is 4 for me. Houses, so let's look at my houses first. I have got just a straight 12 points for having the 3 houses. And then every wool is worth an extra one. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Every ore, seven, eight. And every stone, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So really good on houses there. Marty, eight for the two houses he's got. And then cacao, he's got seven. Silver, he's got four. I thought it was a lot more than that. So 11. Missions. And we can finally reveal that I did my mission, be the first to do an order, which is eight, didn't do the other one. And Marty definitely had the most ore, but I probably could have, no, there was only one ore left, so I couldn't have made it over on him. It's because he gave up two there, but he still had the most, so he gets eight points. The warehouse, Marty's only got one completed row in his warehouse, that's eight. I've got two, five, 10, 18. Oh no, they are orders, not missions. Never mind, let's do the orders down here. Uh, Marty gets 16 for his completed order. And I managed to sneak one in at the very end. I've got 11 plus nine, 20. Okay, if my math is right, uh, which sometimes uh, a lot more basic sums than this have been wrong, uh, then it's it's not, not too far away, 110 to 98. But like I said, hot, like kind of towards the end of the playthrough, why wasn't I buying way more extensions rather than worrying about all of the discs and everything? Buy more extensions. Uh, but yeah, that is Alta Planner. I hope it gives you just an idea of what the game in general is like. If you'd like to know what I think, you can click the link here. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.